Yeah, I said it. All that shucking and jabbing. But, but, but before I even start this video, uh, start Ink Well, I'm probably going to edit a bunch of stuff. I just need to be said, I am tipsy. He is not. He is the designated driver. Just so you know, in case, in case anything odd gets said or done during the course of the making of this video. All that shucking People and jabbing. People got brake lights on right All now. All that shucking and jabbing. Brake lights changed. everywhere. My foot's on the brake. been on the brake. Forever. Oh! See? Put been on the break. Just because I got the phone up, I mean, I'm like looking at the phone. I got shades on. You can't see my eyeballs. Anyway, you can't, I think he's showing out now. What about that fast lane over there? I think then I, if I get over there, what about that middle lane? Last that's, person I'm going to listen to is somebody that's, that had a couple or had a few telling me how to drive. And like I said, all that shucking and jiving. Tip for tat, lane changing and all that stuff leads to an accident. Like I said, the lane you think is moving, pick a car. Take a picture of it, in fact. And I bet you we probably catch up to it in a quarter of a mile. That's all I'm saying. Enjoy. Oh, and while you edit, why don't you take... Oh, let me tell you this. This is a forgettable piece of juice. So, pink at whatever war show just happened... Pink was, you know how she keeps it real. So Pink was, you know, she was on some, uh, Chris Brown was lip syncing. You know how she hate lip syncing. She, you go, if you gonna do, do the thing, do the damn thing. And she can't stand doing it herself and she can't stand other, to hear other people do it. Anyway, so I, I don't know how it really went down, but she was like Chris Brown with his lip syncing ass, right? <laughs> so then Chris Brown fans start sending her death threats. Death threats? Death that oh, are you surprised no but check this out on twitter that's exactly right i, I follow the same thought process on twitter he he then sends out um a message to all his people saying come on have more class than that uh let's not uh what do you call them breezy face something what they call themselves i don't know he's like hey team breezy uh, let's keep some class about it. Let's not send people death threats. Like, you know, stop with, with sending people death threats or whatever. And I'm looking at that tweet encouraging his fans not to send people death threats. What kind of fans did you think you built? Well. What kind of fans did you think you built? Did you think they were not liable to do some dumb shit like that? Them your people. They stupid, just like you. So, I mean, as the leaders is... I don't know what Brianna did, you know, she probably, Brianna did, she probably deserved to get that out black, because I would have did the same shit. Chris Brown, my boy. Same. Chris Brown is too fine, you know, for somebody just to be, you know. You right, that is the same exact concept. But it was just she hilarious. She did something. It was hilarious to me. Just like, and that's why I was laughing at Usher. He's a little baby mama drama because, but, but, hold on. Fans in general, that whole genre they go are too just far. fucking right. stupid, right. immature, right. and have no fucking, uh, like, value of life. Right, I mean, right, because check it out. You know what they call themselves, you, you know what they call themselves now? No. Stands. Stands? Yeah. Oh, like the m, &M Yeah. <laughs> so, ain't fans no more, it's stands. Uh, well, that's appropriate. It is. Because it's appropriate. It's dang, It's appropriate, and it's disturbing about the the state of society. And we ain't going there, but that's the same bullshit about that you showed me that Trayvon and shit. Right. right. That's the same bullshit. That's the same bullshit. But that's parenting. That's parent. It is parenting. Yep. And I know it's harder because you got the internet, you got Facebook, you got all that shit and stuff. But still, it is scary to think that those are the fucking people that's gonna be running this fucking. Parents are totally happening. Parents are chill. I mean, I like the integration. Don't get me wrong. I like the, all that, you know, intertwining and shit, the races and shit, because that kind of squashes racism a little bit. But it's just uh, the the decline of of humanity. Like people don't have that anymore. Like that's a human fucking body that got killed, that didn't even get a chance to live life and do the shit that like you're doing even right if you now. are racist you don't have no sons or cousins or brother or sister, a brother, right. right you don't have no people you I actually a love friend. pick a white one just have some compassion if, if that's if that's gonna help you think it through yeah. make them make them white 
my But plans. anyway, um, go ahead. Oh, wait a minute. I was just saying how um, R. Kelly is about to come back. Because you know N words are ridic on that jock. So, um, he had a song come out and I, it, 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 and I wasn't that bad. I just don't support him. But a song came on. And when I heard that song, and it's the second song I heard, I guess, off his new releases. And they, they both are kind of hot. And I know people are going to eat it up. I'm going to deny it, though. Why? Well, huh? Why? Because I don't support him. Okay. So anyway, I don't support him. I don't support him. Fuck him, you know, and his throat and whatever right. happened. He didn't never have to come out with no. It just happened to be a. I give him credit for being a decent song. I ain't gonna buy that shit. And I ain't gonna tell people I like that shit. Not in public. Wow. You gonna do about this video? Did you make it? I'm saving the children. <laughs> I'ma save the children. What? Now he know what it's like to, to get peed on. Like, peed oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I said, and I was saying, oh yeah, all the people going to be all on his jock again, all his stands, right? So, um, I said, because you know, uh, uh, last year, I was like, because be, they were all up in arms last year when he had to have his little throat surgery. He was like, someone's wrong with R. Kelly, R. Kelly on hiatus? I was like, I don't know if he was on deliberate hiatus, but... He had some issues with throat. He had emergency throat surgery or something like that. And <laughs> this Negro said, "What did he get a UTI in his throat? Nope. In his throat? <laughs> what did he get a UTI in his throat or something that he had to have surgery on his throat?" And for those of you who don't know, a UTI is a urinary tract infection. So the only way he could possibly get a UTI in his throat and still should not is if someone peed down it. <laughs> They peed on him a little bit, got in his mouth. You know, they say urine is sterile or whatever, but they, they had some kind of STD. God, but, no oh my God. So, we start in the room today and hear, for, hear, hear more forth, hear forth more. That um, his throat surgery is, is a result of a, a UTI in his throat. That's gonna be the that's gonna be the medical term for it, right? Okay. Esophageal UTI. That sounds UTI official right IT. there. UTI IT. UTI in dope. Oh, UTI. <laughs> UTI. He got he had his little UTI removed. UTI. Yep. 